Hi everybody, it is Transfer Tuesday, and I have to tell you, it feels like fall here. It is August 2nd, so it's actually Monday night, I need to film this, and it feels like fall. A lot of people don't believe me when I say that fall comes early, but let me show you. Do you see all the leaves on the ground already? The leaves are already changing colors, so you now you know why it is such a challenge for me to do my gardening. All right, let's get into this transfer. We have some exciting news today. When I call up, I'm to say I'm in town. I get no shit. Hello everyone, Marlene, AKA Snow Gardener 307, here with you today for our Transfer Tuesday. We have got a lot of money movement going on today, but first of all, I wanna give a quick shout out to my mother-in-law and father-in-law, for hooking me up with some different lights to give it a whirl. I know that on my happy planner, you guys can see the lights, stuff like that. We'll get that figured out. But we are here to move money. And for those of you guys that don't know what Transfer Tuesday is, Transfer Tuesday is moving money every single week, no matter how much or how little. For me, I think the smallest Transfer Tuesday um, amount that I had moved was $5 one week. We did not have much, so I think I put $5 into my husband's debt snowball and $5 into mine. Today is going to be a large payment, so I'm excited to share that with you. And I want to give a quick shout out to Mary from Penny's Not Perfection for implementing the idea of Transfer Tuesday. And a lot of you guys have asked me how the heck I have been able to pay off so much credit card debt. Now, while we did get the blessing of the extra money, I do want to let you guys know that I truly believe the weekly payments to our debt have added up more than anything else. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to roll on over to our August section and we're going to go all the way to the back to our Transfer Tuesday. And August has five Tuesdays in it. So my sheet that I created in my Etsy shop has five weeks. The only bad thing about having five weeks instead of just four is I did have to minimize it and put four lines there. So let's go ahead and put our date in there first. And so it is August 3rd for our first Transfer Tuesday of the month. The first thing I want to tell you guys is thank you so much all of you guys who support me on YouTube and Instagram for helping me reach my goal of 100 likes on my last week's Transfer Tuesday video. When I just looked, I was at 102 likes. So that means that I am going to put $102 towards my debt snowball. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. And I do want to let you know that we're going to do it again for this video. For every single like on this video, I will not only put $1 towards my debt snowball, but I am going to put another dollar towards my husband's debt snowball. $2 total to my husband and I's debt snowballs for every single like. I have stocked up my buffer that I pay these from, so let's get those likes going. To tell you that I love you 100 times a day. So the first thing let's talk about is my first national bank. This is the credit card that I'm working on right now. And First National Bank has two sources of our transfer this week. So the first one is our YouTube likes, and that is going to be a hundred and two dollars. Heck yeah. And then the other thing is is my car. I had mentioned it in my monthly budget video that I wasn't sure if my refinance of my car was going to go through in time to not have to pay my car payment. Well, I am super excited to let you guys know that I received the letter in the mail today saying that it was paid off. So uh, let me show you this letter that I got in the mail today. So you can see right there, Dear Marlene, congratulations. We are pleased to inform you that the above re referenced vehicle loan is now paid in full. Pending funds clearing. So paid in full and within 48 hours, they will release my title to the new, the new lien holder. So that means that that is $645 going to my debt snowball 
from the car payment. So that's right. We are going to be making a debt snowball payment of $747 this week. Huge payment. And I will get my uh, debt snowball sheet out here in just a minute and we can work through that. I want to let you know what else we've got here. We do not have any money out of our cash dividers because our cash dividers are not done yet. If you watched my weekly check-in yesterday, you know that I still have another week on this cash. So we don't have that cash. Normally we have some of that cash. And so for my hubby, he is going to um, go ahead and put some money towards his debt snowball. And this is his Simmons credit card. And he is just going to pull this money out of his buffer and he is going to do $25 because as we all know, every penny and every dollar adds up. Then for my last line, I'm going to put two things in here. Okay. We are going to talk about investments and that is in reference to my M1 investment account. If you guys haven't looked at M1 yet, make sure you take a look. There is a promotion going on right now where if you use my link down below to start an M1 account and start out with $100, then they will give you $50 and they will give me $50. It's free money. What do you have to lose? You deposit the $100, you try out the app or the platform. If you don't like it, you're able to take the $100 and the $50 back out. So what do you have to lose? So this is a tiny, tiny little amount right here. But as my friend Aaron from Aaron Twibbles Around Aimlessly has told me, it is free money. And so that's right. 15 cents I made off of this this last week in dividends. I know you guys are probably laughing going, Marlene, 15 cents, really? Does that deserve a place in your transfer Tuesday? Of course it does, because this is where we're starting. Every penny adds up. So super excited. Again, like I said, check out M1. Um, if you know somebody else that is doing it already, use their, you know, code or whatever and just get started. What do you have to lose? And so that was the M1 account is what that is. And then I'm going to go ahead and just draw a little line there so I can tell you guys about the next thing. So the next thing that we have is my Etsy. And I am so thankful to you guys. You guys have helped me so much. And I am excited to say that I received my email from Etsy that I made $52.69 this last week. That's right, everybody. On my side hustle for my printables, a total of, we're going to round it on up to $53. Now, so we've got our Etsy, but let me tell you what I'm doing with this money. This money is going into two new sinking funds. So we've got sinking funds and I'm going to go ahead and use this starting balance area right here because it doesn't need to have a starting balance. We are going to do a new sinking fund for YouTube. And this is going to pay for stuff like getting me a new lighting system. And like I said, shout out to my mother-in-law and father-in-law for bringing me a couple lights to give it a whirl. I don't know what you guys think, but it looks much brighter to me because I am actually filming this at nighttime. So much better. So we are going to do YouTube and we are going to put $40 towards that. And then the remaining $13 is going to go to a new sinking fund as well, which we are just calling taxes. This is going to be taxes for my Etsy right now, but also once I get monetized and we're getting there, you guys, we're almost to 900 subscribers, then we will be putting money in there as well for YouTube. So that means for that right there that we have got $53 in money movements to sinking funds. I need to go to the bank and get these amounts out and add them into the new sinking funds. So these are our movements this week. Let me grab the debt snowball check-ins. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So here is my husband's debt snowball monthly check-in sheet. 
I just love these watercolors this month. I think they turn out absolutely beautiful. So we've got a starting balance right here from July 30th of $2,136. He has not made any payments or done anything yet as we are just at the beginning of the month. And so we are going to go ahead and put today's date, which is 8-3, and we are going to go ahead and just put a payment right here. And he is going to be paying $25. And every little bit adds up. So we're going to do some mental math. I am fairly confident that I can do that. If I mess up, you guys let me do know down below. So $25, that drops him down to $2,111. And as most of you guys probably already know, because you watched yesterday's video, I'm sure, he is going to be able to pay this entire amount off this month. That's right. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And when you look at the debt snowball monthly check-in down here at the bottom, we had set a goal to pay this off before we knew the refinance was going through of January. So he is going to be months ahead. And over here, you can see his debt payoff order. He's working on the Simmons and then he's going to be moving to his discover credit card, which is his last credit card absolutely unbelievable. We are so blessed. Now let's talk about my debt snowball. This is for First National Bank. Let me just pull it up a little bit so you guys can see it. So you can see on July 30th, I started with $5,016.20. Then I made my regular payment of $350. And then my debt snowball is up to $711. So that dropped me down to $3,955.20. Let's go ahead and subtract another $747 for our YouTube likes and for our car payment. And so we are just going to put extra payment and I am going to go ahead and put YouTube and car. And I should have started farther over there. I'm going to do that, you guys. I can't take it. It's not neat enough. Let's fix it. We've got an erasable pin. Why the heck not? So extra payment. And we have got YouTube and car. And I am sorry if you can hear my cat. If it's not the Yorkies, it's the cat. And so today is 8-3. We are paying $747 off today. So let's grab our handy dandy calculator, our good old trusty Casio from probably the 1990s. <laughs> and let's go ahead and subtract $747. That brings us down to $3,208.00. 20 cents. So let's take a look right here and let's look at our goal. So our goal is to pay this off by October 1st of 2021. And so we've got $3,208 left and this is my last credit card. And then I am on to my car payment. And you'll notice there's a smiley face right here because as of the filming of this, that is the end of my personal debt. That is right, everybody. This is down to $3,208.20. So what do you guys think? Do you think I can make it by October 1st? Let me know down in the comments. Do you think I'll make it? Yes, Marlene, you'll make it. Or no, Marlene, I think that you've set your stretch goal a little too high. Let me know. That takes care of our transfer Tuesdays, except for adding those balances in. So let's go ahead and add in the starting balance for First National Bank. And we are going to add in the starting balance before, I don't know what I did here. It looks like I put the starting balances and the ending balances on the 30th as the same. So apparently I'm losing my mind. So we're going to get rid of those. And we're just going to leave that column blank. I actually like it looking better blank because there's our starting balance. Here's this amount here. And this is our ending balance. But our starting balance for this week in Transfer Tuesday was $3,955.20. That means we are now down to $3,208.20. And I should have paid the $0.20 cents because the extra cents drive me crazy. 
then for my hubbies, we have got his starting balance at $2,136 and his ending balance at $2,111. Dollars, And then, of course, here we don't need these. So let's take a look. How much money are we moving today? And I do want to let you guys know we are including this 15 cents in our investments because it is being transferred right back into investing. I have it set to do that. So we've got 747 plus 25 plus 15 cents plus 53 dollars. So let's take a look and see, and if my calculations are correct, today we are moving $825.15, either moving it to debt, to savings in our sinking funds, or investments. So let's go ahead and take care of Georgette really quick. We've got to get Georgette her coin. She's been waiting patiently. Georgette, for those of you guys that don't know, this is Georgette right here. And I closed my binder and thought I was done with it. But of course, I like keeping track of Georgette's cash on my Transfer Tuesdays. You'd think this was my first time filming Transfer Tuesday with Georgette. So what I normally do is just over here on the side, I make myself a little note. And so Georgette is starting with $32.58 today. And I've got some change from my husband. And let me look and see what I've got in my wallet. I don't believe I have much. Not many people are giving change and wanting you to pay with direct change. And, oh, I got a little bit. Let's see what we've got. I have more than I thought I had. So pull that on out of my wallet. Make sure I've got it all. This is the change that we have going into Georgette right now. So as I feed Georgette all of these coins, I want you guys to tell me what is a goal that you have for August? It doesn't have to be a budgeting goal, just so you guys know. Any sort of goal, whether it is a fitness goal, a personal goal, or a budget goal. Maybe it's a career goal, something at work that you would like to do. I believe that if we don't set goals, we don't go anywhere. And so I am 100% a believer in setting goals. And when I set goals and I talk about my goals and I tell people about them, I know that I am that much more likely to achieve the goals. So let's help each other and share our goals. You know, and maybe you'll have a goal that I will look at and say, you know what? That is a great goal. Maybe I should start doing something like that. Self-reflection and growing as an individual is so very important. Let's get all these coins into Georgette. See where we're at. And then I have a special announcement as soon as we're done here. Dun, da, 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 da. Okay, almost done. Let's see where Georgette's net now. How much money did she get? Where are we at? We are at $37.35. So a $37.35. And this is when Mr. Cassio comes in handy. So we've got $37.35 minus $32.58. So this week, Georgette got $4.77. Like I said, Every penny counts from the 15 cents. It's being reinvested in M1 to the $4.77 that we fed into our pal Georgette. Very quickly, a reminder first, please like this video if you haven't done so already. And if you've made it this far, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. We have fun on this channel if you guys haven't figured it out. So like this video, all the likes from now until next, probably Monday evening, because I usually have to film the day before, or that morning, for every single like, $1 to my debt snowball, and my husband doesn't even know this, but I will be putting a second dollar in for his debt snowball. So $2 for every single like. So let's see if we can make Marlene go broke with paying off debt. So my announcement is, I have got another giveaway coming up. That's right. We're still on our journey to a thousand. We are almost to 900. I just can't believe it. 
But this is another pay it forward giveaway. We are continuing to support small businesses on my channel and we are going to be doing a giveaway very, very soon. If you would like a pre-entry into this, please put a gift emoji down below in the cards. That's it. Don't give the clue to anybody else that hasn't been watching, right? Only the ones that are watching till the end will get an extra entry. I want to give a quick shout out to my friend Erin from Erin Twibbles Around Aimlessly for giving me this idea. She may have done this on her drawing and I thought it was a great idea. So stay tuned to find out what our next pay it forward drawing is going to be. Thank you guys for coming along on this Transfer Tuesday and transferring everything from pennies to dollars. Till I see you guys next time, keep on smiling. Bye everybody. You gotta help me disappear From all those voices